Uh, good morning and welcome to episode one, four, five, eight of Down to Dunk. You can find us on The Athletic and anywhere else you subscribe to your podcast. Go to the theathletic.com backslash down to dunk and get The Athletic for $1 a month for six months. I am Luke. Going this morning, by Andrew. I gotta say, I'm just fired up to be here today. It's pretty cool, pretty damn cool. Woo! Slam through, Dan Taylor. Good morning, gentlemen. Let's get to it. So we are going to have a podcast for you guys tonight after the Kings Pelicans game because it's hard to preview a series when you don't know who you're going to play, and we don't want to waste our time. Who do we want? I mean, honestly, you want the Pelicans. You want the Pelicans. <laughs> because there's no Zion. B.I.'s not, you know, not himself. One of their best players is Jonas Valanciunas, and he can't play against the Thunder because the Thunder play him off the court. There's just way too many advantages. I'd love a, I'd love a celebratory first-round sweep. Oh, that might be a sweep. That'd be beautiful. Yeah, that I might would be love a, that. That might be a sweet. That would feel nice. It's like, yes, it's would the King series be much better for everyone? Yes, of course. Mm-hmm. No, it would not be. So uh, a week from Saturday, from tomorrow, is game three in either Sacramento or New Orleans. And if you're not going to be there, hmm. should, where, they, where should they go? You should go to Lively Beer Works, <laughs> which is where we're going to have our watch party. They're going to put us, they're going to put a big projector screen in the back of their warehouse. We're going to have food, beverages. It's going to be a great time. So join us at Uh, Lively Beer Works in downtown OKC for a watch party. Watch Um, party. It's going to be so fun. Uh, We're talking to Lively. They're going to have plenty of seating. Are they going to have um, ice cold crispy brews? I believe the crispiest. Okay. I believe they will be crispy. Good. Uh, they're going to be pretty crispy. <clears throat> I could tell you that. Well, I'm excited. I'll be there. Who do you Who do you guys want the Thunder to play? I mean the Pelicans. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I want them to play them. The Pelicans have killed, killed the Kings all season. They beat them five times. That's yeah. That's wild. They beat them five times because it's of just the one of those matchups. Tournament. And that is a matchup where Jonas can play. Hmm. Because he and Sabonis can just cover each other. Yeah. So I wouldn't. I mean, I think the Kings will win. But like looking back at the matchup, CJ was amazing in the series. And so is Jonas. Mm-hmm. So like, this could be a game. Herb Jones on on Fox. Like it's not it's not a gimme. For well, the Kings. And, and I'm assuming some of those wins Zion wasn't playing in them. Well, it's not play, but he just didn't wasn't like the man. Like mm-hmm. he didn't score forty, mm-hmm. like he did against the Lakers. Mm-hmm. So like, there's it's. I, I think the Kings will win, but this could be a game. They have they have a lot of uh, foibles there for the Kings. Huh. Oh, foibles! Foibles. Do you know? Do we know that Zion is out for sure? Oh, he out. Yeah, and then out. he's out for for a couple weeks, and he's out for the the rest of like the series against. I mean, potentially it's, us. it's likely that he would not play. In that series, how do we feel about B.I.? Is B.I. going to be good again or is he going to be not good? I have no idea. I have they no need idea. B.I. to be B.I. Yeah. It It's not encouraging to see him not be able to play at all down the stretch of a game that you have to win. Mm-hmm. That is pretty wild. It's nice to have a couple days off. But I don't know. We'll see. That's that'll be pivotal too. If he can play and play well, they can they can beat the Kings. That's gonna be such a fun game tonight. I can't yeah, wait for these games tonight. It's gonna Should be happen. fun. Should be fun. Um, so the Kings, do they make you nervous in the first round at all? Um they I make mean, me nervous. Yeah, I mean, they're they're a good basketball team. But and they seem to match up with us really. I know that we had a game that we just like destroyed them, but I felt like earlier in the season. Those games against the Kings were like, hmm, they really just kind of match up well with us. Yeah, they yeah, they they beat the Thunder like eight times in a row or something like that. So <laughs> yeah. I mean, 
the Thunder are the better team. Like, clearly the better offense, clearly the better defense. The Thunder should win that series. Mm-hmm. Is is any matchup going to be easy? Maybe the Pelicans without Zion and a bad Brandon Ingram will be easy. Mm-hmm. But you also have no Malik Monk for the Kings. Yeah, that's true. That is one of the guys that no just Kevin Herter. They, us. they they have they very much lack depth, which will play into the Thunder's favor. Okay, but, but we'll cross that bridge when we get there tonight. We'll cross it. Uh, until then, we're gonna just answer as many Twitter questions as we possibly can. So buckle up. You asked for it. We're going to give it to you. Twitter, Twitter questions, questions pod. Shut up, shut you got questions and you ask them on Twitter. <laughs> now we answer them for you. This is Twitter questions. Now let's get down to it. What's up? It's Twitter questions time. We've asked you for questions on Twitter and you've given us Twitter questions. Our first Twitter question is a really serious one from a man named at Dude Buffet who wants to know what hairdo should Chet get? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Stop laughing. It's serious. Yeah. Chat is looking for a new do, and he has prepared four options, but is open to others. These will be posted on YouTube as we're discussing on them. YouTube. So if you would like to view them, you should go to check us YouTube. out on our YouTube. And YouTube. when you're there, give us a like and follow. I don't know. I don't know how YouTube works. Isn't that right? You like and follow? Yeah. Subscribe. Good. Give it a e- Yeah, a like and subscribe. Like, subscribe, retweet. Um, our first hairdo for chat is a mullet. Okay. Here's the mullet. The mullet. He has um, also given him a Fu Manchu mustache, which I think is really good. Yeah, this uh, is not this is not the new wave mullet. This is no, a classic. This mullet. is like this is like eighties. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. is Joe Dirt. This is feathered. Yeah, yeah. This is this is not my favorite look for Chet. Okay. Well, the next one is frosted tips, and I'll tell you, I, there's there's something about this one that I like. You know what you like about it. Um, who was the uh, white center that used to play on the Kings in the early 2000s? You're talking about Scott Pollard? I'm talking about Scott Pollard. I think that's what you like about it. Reminds you of him. It does not. Oh, okay. But I do like it. It's a look, and it's it, not bad. It kind of suits him a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Um, <coughs> He's kind of a Frosted Tips guy. I think. Did you guys have Frosted Tips? I had Frosted oh, Tips. Oh, yeah, yeah, brother. Oh, do you yeah. remember how getting them and you have to get your hair pulled, pulled, through, pulled through the, the cap? cap? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that hurt. I think I cried. The first really? Time I did it. Really? Yeah, I, th- I was like nine, but I remember it if really you're, hurting. If you're crying, getting frosted tips. You're not old enough for frosted tips. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I definitely I, wasn't. I, agree. I wasn't. He kind of, you know, who he kind of looks like from college. Uh, hmm. Andrew, our friend Skinny B. Yeah, he does. Look he like kind of looks like Skinny B. Oh my gosh. Um. Wow. Little, then the next one is the little front flip from 2001, which really the frosted tips have it too. Yeah. But just as no frosted tips front flip. In this particular picture, he's got some some pretty robust sideburns. It looks it's an Elvis kind oh, of Oh yeah, yeah. I see what you're saying. The sideburns are important in this. In yeah. 2000, I mean, it was 2001. I think if you do this, the sideburns could come down more and even do the half like you know when it uh, it's like no. pointing towards your mouth. Nah, really? No. That's not okay. Saying. Well, then I'm way out then. Huh. I don't want I don't like way, that. way out. And the last one. Uh, that he's prepared as full mountain man. Yeah, this, this is, is Force Gump. Yeah, that's a, that's exactly what I was thinking. This is the Gump look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't. This is not Chet. <laughs> it was it was definitely Stephen Adams, where it's like very carefree. That is not that is not Chet. Do you have Do you guys have any other uh, hair ideas that he should uh, bowl cut? No, I think he's got to go frosted tips. Positive really is. I, I also would like to see a little uh, mohawk action. Huh? Huh? Th- has there ever been an NBA player with a with a mohawk? A Birdman. Oh yeah, Birdman. But that's about it. Birdman. Yeah. Birdman. 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 But uh, Frosted Tips really—he—he he really looks great. 
yeah he does tips it, uh, he also looks really happy in this photo which also might be swaying me a little <laughs> yeah bit. i think so. that's uh emotionally the other ones the other ones he's like trying to look cool and it's not working <laughs> like not working at all but the happy picture this is cool is maybe it okay all right let's move on <clears throat> all right now next question comes from at tagline underscore eth who wants to know what will surprise people who will actually watch the thunder for the first time now because of the playoffs people who are unfamiliar uh i think maybe style of play will surprise them just because the, this team plays like the quote unquote right way. Like they find the right shots. They take really good shots. Um, I don't know. I mean, I, it's hard. It's also hard for me to remove myself enough mm -hmm. from it because I have seen literally every game that this team has played yeah. since this new iteration has begun. But I, I don't, I don't know what will surprise them. I mean, they're very good. I think that, I think that, they're good will be the thing that surprises people. Yeah, maybe because the number one seed in the West. I know, but I it don't seems think people like, are like. But it seems like the like online talk is like they're a weak number one seed. That's Shannon Sharp. Well, people people watch him and listen to him. Yeah, that's yeah. true. And people and do. take what he says and say and base their opinions on that. So they're going to be walking in if they're only listening to him for their sports entertainment. Mm -hmm. They're walking in like this Thunder team is no good. They stink. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the Thunder need to come out and just dust whoever they get in the first round. Sweep them or five games. That, Set the record straight. That would feel really good. Yeah, but just want to get through a clean first round. I just be, want a clean first round. I don't care what happens after it'd that. It'd be nice to have five games so that you have an, that extra home game. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, I mean, that the, the vibes would be immaculate immaculate yeah in in uh that arena they would it would feel really good <laughs> i feel really good not much would feel better all right our next twitter question we can be a quick we can be a quick one it comes from at george stoya who wants to know the best bar to watch game one if you can't make the game i think hmm. a place that is i think a little underrated to watch thunder games is the jones uh, they have them up on they have a lot of TVs they're up and there's a lot playing I think it's pretty good do they will they do like a big screen sometimes they do but then I mean, sometimes the they playoffs, don't. I assume they I think will. For yeah. the playoffs they will uh by I the way no are is scissor tail gonna be doing a, a thing for the playoff games like I don't know I think so I mean they're doing something I don't know yeah. if they, I don't I don't know that it's gonna I don't know that they would open up the the can of worms that is Thunder Alley again though I don't think so. I don't think, but it's called something else. They're, they're not doing calling so, it Thunder Alley. Yeah, but they're not doing it bef like during. I don't think they're showing it during the game. Yeah, but okay. it's like That's before the game. Yeah, before I, and after the game, they're having something. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, do you guys have? Um, I mean, Repu I mean, Lively's going to be showing them. There, there are buddies. That's a great place. Republic is good. Republic. Oh yeah, they just have a thousand TVs. A thousand TVs. And good food. There you go. Um, Buffalo Wild Wings. We'll also be showing that. Buffalo Wild Wings, classic. B Dubs. It's a great place. All right. If you're just coming to Oklahoma City for the first time and you want to experience a Thunder game with fans, but you can't make the game, hit up any local Buffalo Wild Wings. Stop. That's the Oklahoma City. Experience. We've got to stop promoting people. All right, go ahead. All right. Our next Twitter question it comes from at Cody, son of Steve, who wants. To know our favorite moments of down to dunk lore from pods gone by. His is the slow Borat to barbershop quartet transition that has for some reason <laughs> taken place for my wife. <laughs> that is a years long transition. <laughs> um, I mean, when we used to do trade calls, that was pro that's probably like a a good down to dunk lore. Yeah, where, where we would impersonate <laughs> different GMs. Yeah. Um, let's see. Mary F. Kill with Casper's uncle. <laughs> yeah, that's a classic. <laughs> that's a very good one. Very the good one. the pod where I was wretchedly sick. That was and, that pod. Well, I was sick in that one, but like I'm talking about the one where I'm at home laying on the couch. Yeah. Oh yeah. And you guys are potting in the yard in the stream yard. Um, and it just goes off the rails for and it goes, an hour. It was off the rails for so long. And I was like, guys, 
guys stop <laughs> andrew was begging was texting us begging us to end the podcast so he could stop and we just kept going kept going i should have just he's like please end the podcast should have just hit end uh yeah man uh more recently jay jay's saying jub man it was i've laughed about that for yeah two weeks yeah yeah, yeah that was good i love a good jay uh you know innuendo oh yeah accidental innuendos full, i love those he's, he's full of them he is full of um okay here's here's our next twitter question it comes from at zach deeg he wants to know if you could get dagnall or presty on the pod which will who would you choose and which pod presty on the fry pod mark with alex or michelle mckelly mckelly michelle <laughs> how i'm reading <laughs> Um, definitely Mark Dagnall. Guy who just reads and doesn't. <laughs> hey, guys. Definitely. Doesn't think about what he's reading. Definitely the show with Mark and Michelle. Okay. <laughs> Mark and Michelle. Um, I mean, I would love to have Mark on, on any show. I think he would be great on the Fry Pod. Let's get, uh, that's, I mean, that's. He's, do he's you, th- if Press you were on the pod, do you think he'd say anything or do you think he'd just say a See, lot you need someone that's gonna like relax a little uh, bit and have have a little bit of fun be think, open to it yeah i think i mean i think it's just easily mark mm-hmm. there's just like no question about it yeah huh. All right. well hey mark, did, mark is so playful with the media he's before great and after games. can we he's say great. can he's we great. just say put it out there he has he's an open best. invite i mean i'm telling you i've been inviting the guy for years now to come on the show yeah but you Maybe if he a, thinks it's a specific invite. Maybe he doesn't know it's an open invite. He does. I have spoken to him about it multiple times. Okay. You're still invited, do, Mark. Hey, um, when you do media game video, whatever. Uh, hold on, Taylor. <laughs> start that over. What is it called the first day before media the season day. starts? Media, media day, day game. Yeah. Media day game. There's no game. There's no game. When you guys do a game, when you make a game for a video for Down to Dunk in media day, that's what I'm talking about. Get Mark on this year. Dude, it's not within my control. Make it in your control. Okay, we got to go to the next question. Our next question comes from at Robbie underscore Bennett, who wants to know, all y'all worried about attendance since it's been hard to watch the Thunder the last couple of years. I mean, if there's attendance problems in the playoffs, then Oklahoma City has big big problems as a market i don't think i i think it's gonna be packed house i think so too if People that know. if if that is but seriously though if that's the case like there's like big issues with this market yeah so I think people know hopefully do you think people know they better know that's, i think people know now at <laughs> they, this point. They, they better know that's all i have to say hey guys your nba team in your city is the number one seed in the west do you know that do you know that do you respond to that? Do you like that? We'll have to find out. Do you like that? Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm trying to find a good one. Just just like we I want to fire just through like it. all of them. Do just all. fire through uh, all of okay. them. Okay. Just like just go. <laughs> just go. Next one comes from act, I'm trying not to ask for because it's okay. Okay. It's okay. We'll okay. do it quick. Okay. We're trying okay. To We're doing, or trying to do all from the, at Zach D. We're trying to do all the TQs. Who wants to know? What do you think the extensions for Joe Wiggins and Giddy could run? I mean, Joe could be anywhere from ten to twenty. I don't know. I don't know where that lands. We just saw Grayson Allen get a a hefty raise. My guess is his won't be nearly as much as Grayson Allen's, but probably 15 ish Wiggins probably mid level ish. So like nine, eight or nine maybe. And then Giddy could be upwards of 20 to 25 would be my guess, but we just don't know. Okay. Next Twitter question comes from at Benelephant King who wants to know which player entering the game would signal something very right or something very wrong happening. Um. Oh, are we talking uh, like end of bench guy? I mean, Oos for sure, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Like if 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 they say check it in for the Thunder, Usman Jang, then yeah. it's like this is a blowout, or Sar. this or this is or this is a blowout. One, well, Sar towards Achilles. Oh, that'd be a big hey. 
that'd be really bad if they check. Actually, no, it would be amazing because it would be a medical miracle. Wow, medical miracle, medical miracle. So I think Oos is like the bellwether for that, though. Yeah, like Oos is not playing in like critical moments. It's not like five minutes left. Thunder, you know, down one to the Kings. Oos checks in. (laughs) Like that's not going to happen. Do you think so? But it's good. It could be good or bad. It doesn't signal like. Yeah, it could be good or bad. It could be that like they're being blown out by twenty. Yeah, and there's like thirty seconds left, and Usman Jang, you're going or they're blowing out. Yeah, either way. All right. Next question comes from at Benelifa King. He wants to know the odds of you crying at the end of this year's Thunder Run. Crying? Crying. I'm These not... can be tears of joy. Yeah. yeah championship. I'm These crying. can also be sad tears of sadness. Yeah, I'm not crying. I'm crying if they win the whole thing. You don't think if you they won the whole thing, you don't think you'd cry. I'm not crying. You don't really? Well, Andrew yeah. cannot admit this publicly right now, by the way. That'd be unprofessional. I'm, I'm As a media person, cry. I'm not crying. It's, uh, it's, I mean, it'll be really cool, but I will not cry. I don't Such know. Such a man. I don't know. I think I think when they're I think that final uh, uh, final the final uh, with all the dogs barking, <laughs> I think you might, you might see some tears. I think the barks would turn into like <laughs> just everyone howling. howling. Yeah, there you go. yeah, crying, howling. All right. Hey guys, can we, can we take a break and I give someone some advice? Um, yeah, a halfway break. Yeah, for some advice. Sure. Can someone asked me for sure. some advice. All right. A person reached out for me for for some advice, and I'm about to give it. He says, my wife and I both got married about two years ago. We're both big Thunder fans. Did you get married to each other, or you both got married? (laughs) They got married to each other. He's my wife. They're both big Thunder fans. They're both 24 years old, and they're finishing up their master's degrees. They're trying to decide when is the best time to have kids to maximize their ability to enjoy this era of Thunder basketball. (laughs) They watch every game. They try to go to as many as possible, hoping to get season tickets in the next year or two. Should we wait until the first championship to pop one out or hold out past that just in case we win multiple? Or should we just wait until the next rebuild? Maybe we have one now so he or she can experience this with us. We don't want to be old parents, but this team is so good and so young that we don't want to be stuck wiping baby butts during the championship <laughs> You're parade. So right. <laughs> you are doing the, the right thing by waiting. Also, can you imagine if you can tell your kid they were conceived when the, at the exact moment the confetti was falling for a thunder championship wow here's the thing that i want him to understand you you tell your kids when they were conceived (laughs) i'm planning on it (laughs) okay how where how when (laughs) state of mind here's the thing that this person needs to understand how he is right now at the best point in life in my opinion he is living the dink lifestyle yeah dual income no kids and i think you have to (laughs) really enjoy that dink it up dink it up dink it up this is the time when you get to go on vacations when you get to go to and watch every thunder game you get to go to thunder games you get to do all that and when you have babies that stuff stops so i'd say sit back and enjoy this for a little bit because once you have kids you know you're not a dink anymore I love that you're planning kids around how uh, good or relevant your favorite basketball team is, by the way. Keep that up. Yeah, it's true. And uh, so I would say enjoy enjoy the lifestyle for uh, a few more years. Can we um, how do we how do we get them to make sure that they name their kid after a Thunder player? So that's already that's already happening. This these, yeah, these, are, gonna these are huge fans. I was gonna yeah. Say. yeah. Yeah. Jub. He's naming a Jub. <laughs> Jub. They have two kids. Jub and Chat. And Chat. All right. Ooh. Okay. Got another Twitter question. All right. <laughs> they named their kid Usman. <laughs> yes. 
Uh, our next Twitter question is from at J underscore Grissette, who says, I've been listening for a couple years, but I don't know the exact history behind the phrase bird night. Can you share some down to dunk history? Yeah, it was, it was, it was based off of the, the play in games a couple years ago <clears throat> where the Clippers lost in the play in to the Pelicans and ended up with the 12th pick instead of like the 15th pick in the draft. Also, the Hawks happened to win that night too, which we didn't care as much about, except for they're both birds. Mm-hmm. And so that's that's what bird night is, is like celebrating that the Thunder got the 12th pick, which happened to be J-Dub, which was a worthy celebration. Mm. Yeah. Bird man, so, bird man. So that's bird night. Shout out to bird night. That was a great night. So he's so he is <laughs> shout out to bird. Night. So he's the player that has bird night response. Thanks he's, for the shout out on the pod today. Yeah, you got it, Bird Night. So he you was name your child Bird Night. <laughs> bird Night. <laughs> <laughs> this is this is Bird Night. It's like what did what did what did uh he, the guy name his uh kid in New Girl? I don't know. Uh, I do not remember. Bill, it's something. Bill, Dan, I, Bill. See, I don't remember what you're talking. New about. Girl. I know what New Girl is. I don't, for some reason, I can't remember what you're talking about. Yeah, I don't remember. Yeah, I've, right, I've right, seen right, New Girl right. as well, but I don't do not remember. All right. Next Twitter question comes from. Let's see. Comes from at Alex underscore Bowler Jack, who wants to know who's on the Mount Rushmore for the greatest athletes ever in all sports. Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, Muhammad Ali, Michael Jordan, <laughs> Tom Brady, Tom Brady, Usain Bolt. Next question. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Wayne Gretzky. No LeBron. No LeBron. No Wayne Gretzky. No Wayne Gretzky. Uh, Caitlin Clark. Yep. True. Hey, our next Twitter question comes from at Bobby Howard. Okay. Who hey. wants to know now that the Thunder are very good is Nate Roos from Fun, still a fan of the team. I remember him mentioning he primarily likes underdogs. That's a great question. I think that he, I don't know. I need to reach, I need to text him today. I need to reach out to him. Yeah. Cause what happens when the underdogs become top dogs? I'll have to ask him. I don't know. I don't know if he's found a new, cause I don't know anyone that says I primarily like, well, actually, there are some people that primarily like top dogs. Top oh, dogs. Yeah. That's bandwagoners. Bandwagoners. Top dog, top dog, top diggity dogs. Um, okay. At Zach Deeg has asked three questions about breakfast. He wants to know what's the best breakfast you've ever had in three separate Twitter tweets. What's the worst breakfast you ever had? And are y'all hotel breakfast fans? Big hotel breakfast. I mean, fans. yeah. Like, what's not to like about From hotel- ho- free hotel breakfast? Yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. That's not very good. I mean, uh, you're, <laughs> but like, it, you're not expecting it to be great, but are you going to have it? Yeah, it's free. Free continental yeah, right. I mean, come on. Go to the waffle maker. All I need is a waffle, some soggy bacon. See, I won't do the bacon, but like, yeah, get the waffle. Get a little peanut butter. Here's the thing. Get there- some orange juice out of that weird, like, white rubber teat thing that it comes out of. If there's if there's <laughs> free bacon, I'm, I'm taking it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you got to load up. Come on, uh, dude. Yeah. What's better than, one, than a, a waffle out of that Belgian waffle maker? Um, a breakfast from what? a nice restaurant. Okay. I mean, there's well, there are many, okay. you there know are many, many, many things better. There are bad many, many question. things better. It was a bad question. Um, I will say one of the best breakfasts I've had in a long time was at um, a new place here in Edmond called The Lookout. They have a breakfast burrito what that breakfast is burrito? unreal. What's it packed with? Unreal. Uh, I think it has <laughs> like a, a shredded beef in it and it's got it's topped with queso. It's got all kinds of stuff inside. I mean, it's very, very good. I love a breakfast burrito. I it's got to have some too. crispy potatoes in it, though. I think, yeah, there were potatoes in it and yeah. like onions and um, we got a, bell pepper. We got a salsa. Oh, on. yeah. There's a great there's a great salsa with it. We got a salsa. Yeah, that's that's probably that's I mean, I want that. You right know, now. I I um almost opened up a a uh, breakfast burrito food truck. Oh really? By almost, I mean I talked to someone about it over text one time. Hey, we about what we do. (laughs) Hey, we should open this up. Oh man, wouldn't that be great though? If you like worked downtown, you knew that there was a a a truck. 
that was like just coffee and breakfast burritos, different kind of breakfast burritos. Uh, potentially, but it would suck to be the person running it. You'd have to get up so early to prep. Dude, but you're done by 12. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And go have a day. True. But do you love what you do? It, making a breakfast burrito? Yeah. I would love it. Well, then you never, a breakfast burrito? Then you never work a day in your life. Make a breakfast burrito? Make a breakfast? I'm, I'm telling you, I'll make breakfast burritos. In New Girl, Winston's son was Danville. Oh. Okay, Winston. it's coming back to me now. Okay. But not fully. You're not a true fan. Just move on from Dan Bill. Luke. You can't. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> oh, this is a good one. It comes from at Thunder Meme Guy, who wants to know what role player do you see having the best chance at a random 20 point game in the playoffs? The blank game. I mean, it's got to be Isaiah Joe, right? Wigs. Oh. The Isaiah, the Isaiah Joe game. I mean, honestly, the answer is Dort. Is that right? Is he is he is he is he a role player? Yeah, heck yeah, he's a star. Yeah, he's a star. star. He's not a star. Can a yeah, starter just... be a role player? Yeah, definitely. It doesn't feel random enough though. I feel like it needs to be a bench guy. I mean, it's Isaiah Joe. You know, you know who the real answer might be? Gordon Hayward. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, definitely. Like that that is I mean, I don't know if you guys watched the Sixers game the other night, but at, watching Nick Batum oh, it was so awesome. made me think about Gordon Hayward. Because Nick Batum, you know how many times he's played like that this season? Zero. None. He's not played like that one time. Actually, the Dan Levitard show was talking about this, and they went back and looked at the last time Nick Batum hit six threes. Mm -hmm. It was eight years ago. Dude, that's what I'm saying. It's like sometimes veterans in the playoffs just have these it's weird now. moments. Yeah. And like, I know that there's been a lot of people, there's been a lot of discussion. You turn on local radio, and they're like, the. You know, the Gordon Hayward experiment is over. You know, whatever. He could have a game like that. He's seriously, he's one of the most like in by like, practice, one of the most pure shooters I've ever seen. Really? I mean, the guy will sit there and hit like 30 in a row. Like it's it's crazy. Like his shot is pure. Yeah. The only thing is that I've never heard anyone say, you know who sucks at practice? This guy. He can't hit a single shot. I've never heard that. Well, because many I mean, people don't want to get. I mean, I watched Jay Will clank three corner threes in a row <laughs> at practice <laughs> the other day. Well, now I have heard that. I've seen Josh Giddy clank a bunch of threes in practice before. So, well, I mean, it definitely happens. Hey, guys, let's go to our next Twitter question. It comes from at who Chad. Else, uh, who else, there? Who else have you seen that's who really else is bad? out there clanking? Comes from I, at I, I caught a video of Chet. Missing a layup in practice. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that I did not put out there. <laughs> Next question comes from at Chad Emus33, who wants to know this question is mainly for Andrew. Have you tried cinnamon French toast frosted flakes yet? If so, what did you think? Haven't tried them yet. Have you seen Reese's Puffs just have Goku on them now? No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you go to the store, Reese's Puffs, Goku. Like the like the puffs are shaped like Goku? No, he's just on the box. <laughs> It has nothing to do with the cereal inside, but Goku is on them. Reese's Puffs are where it's at. I'll tell you that. Goku is also where it's at. It's a great combination. Yeah, I, <laughs> yeah, a lot of synergy there. I mean, it makes me want, makes me. I love a good Reese's Frosted Puffs. Flakes. By the way, that's such a good classic cereal. It's a great cereal. Yeah, yeah. No, I have. We tried never them yet. we don't talk about Frosted Flakes enough on this podcast, but that's a that is a true classic. Yeah, it's good. Hey guys, our next Twitter question comes from at Preston underscore P one hey two. Hey, it's hey. At every we're only doing Twitter questions, and he's announcing every Twitter. Question. Hey guys, it says I seem to recall a question last year about this time regarding what a health what having a healthy Chet would have added to the win loss ratio. I think the answer Crazy. at the time was maybe a couple of games. After seeing his rookie season, what impact do you think he would have had? Probably a couple of games. Huh. I think 20 games. <laughs> 20? Wow. Yeah. They would have won 60 games last year. <laughs> More. I think also there's been improvements from lots of different players this year as well. Not, not just adding Chet. Like adding Chet has been huge, obviously. But also he... 
was an actual rookie that was I mean, he is definitely beefed up a little bit. He definitely had some time to like yeah, get his bearings here in Oklahoma City. Like there is get there beef. There are advantages to having that like off year, mm-hmm. even though it was awful to have that injury. Like there were advantages to it too. Like I don't oh, yeah. I don't think Chet would have necessarily been as good as he is today at the beginning of last year. So I, I do think it's maybe like two to five game difference. Hey guys, our next Twitter question comes from at Johnny Ho three four. Who says my wife my way. Got, me, got me playoff tickets for my 40th of my two options. I went with a more likely to happen game five because I was too afraid to book game seven. Did I do the right thing betting on it more certainty of seeing game over the chance at seeing a game? seven? No, you did the right thing. Yeah, you did the right thing for sure. Yeah, you did great. That was the ding saying you did the right thing. Ding. Next Twitter question comes from at Alex underscore Bowler Jack who wants to know what is the worst state and why? The worst state? Yeah, I think the state of being really sad, but personal states. Yeah. Depression. I, depression. Yeah, state of yeah, depression. Pretty bad. Depression. God, get out of there. What's the worst uh, state of water? Oh, man. Cubes, ice cubes, <laughs> frozen. <laughs> Steam is terrible. Steam, steam, steam can, can be you. nice though. Steam can be nice. Yeah, I'm just not using it as much I as the other frozen, states. Frozen's the worst. Frozen's overrated. You don't use frozen. I didn't say I don't use it. It's just the worst. I would say lukewarm. No, I love a lukewarm water. Just like a water bottle that's been, state. that's been sitting. State. That's been sitting outside. So actually, I get in trouble for not putting stuff in the fridge because I like things at lukewarm temperature. Like bottles of water. Dude, that is psycho behavior. Is it? Yeah. Straight up. Hmm. It's because I hate the state of, of uh, ice. All right. I think we're good. Okay. Our next Twitter question comes from uh, Al Cermetos, who says, hashtag art AI, AI MetaQuest 3 VR headset giveaway. Oh, sorry. This is an ad. <laughs> Our next Twitter question. Uh, comes from uh, at Dara Mirzai, who says, OKC has 11 guys that conceivably could play in the playoffs. However, in decisive playoff games, we often seem, see teams shrink their lineup to about eight guys. Which three of the 11 could you see being the odd man out? I mean, obviously, it's going to be starting five, and then Isaiah Joe is going to play. I mm-hmm. think Kenrich Williams is going to play. Mm-hmm. And then... Depending on who they play, like if they play the Kings, I think J. Will will be the other guy. If we're talking just eight, I think it'll be J. Will. So you think I understand why we'd put K. Rich over Wiggins. I yeah. understand the logic of it. Yeah. But it's like Wiggins has just, he's had such a good season. It feels like yeah. he's been more a part of the team than, than Ken Rich has. That's an interesting take. I did, I I don't really even know what to say. I just I love Wiggins. Yeah, Wiggins is great. They played like almost the exact same amount of minutes. Maybe like Wiggins has played like a couple hundred minutes more. A couple hundred? That's a lot. Would you rather have a couple hundred thousand dollars more? <laughs> yeah, a couple hundred thousand. <laughs> yeah. Would you rather have two hundred million dollars or <laughs> or one million dollars, Andrew? I would. I. I mean, that's just. I mean, that's just what I think. I think Kenrich. With his physicality, I get it defensively. I mean, and... because like Wiggins is is really good. He's not the most physical player. Like the playoffs, like the level of physicality just steps up. Mm-hmm. Uh, if they played the the Pelicans, though, I could see it being Wiggins instead of Jay Will. Also, like Case and Wallace, where does he fit into this? This is why I don't think they're going to play. They're not going to yeah. play. They're not going to play only eight guys. I'll tell you that. I think Gordon Hayward is probably out first. Out of the bench, guys. It's possible. I could also see a world where first sub off the bench is Gordon Hayward. Like, if he gets more minutes than Wiggins or Kenrich. If he gets... I mean, I I think there's a world where he gets more minutes than Wiggins. I think that, what? The, I think that world exists. Why? I'm, I'm just telling you. I just think that that's possible. Do I think that's the right thing? Uh, not necessarily. But do I think it's possible? Yes. 
Just throwing it out there. Anything just, is possible. Just, just to make people mad. <laughs> just trying to make people mad this morning. Good. Hey guys, our next Twitter question comes from at Tyler Beats One. Beats. Tyler Beats One. What? What's your favorite moment from the regular season? <laughs> I mean, I think the the game tying three in Chase Center. Yeah, the Golden State game was really fun. Mm-hmm. Honestly, I thought that Kings game was really fun. You know, on Tuesday last Tuesday, I thought that was an amazing game. I think one of my favorites for sure is the the Cavaliers win early on in the season where they came back down 10 in like no time at all and mm-hmm. beat the Cavs where like they hit it was like one of those things where like there's a timeout there's only like a minute and a half left and you're like okay they're going to have to get a 3 and a stop oh, and another right, 3 right. and a stop yes, and yes. another 3 and a stop and then we're back in it you know like you play that game in your head and then it and then actually it. happens yeah, yeah. Like that game was amazing. I think the the Nuggets game where Shea hits the game winner was a huge game. Obviously, it it basically got them the number one seed, but also it just felt really good to beat the Nuggets in in crunch time. I mean, there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of like great moments from the season. The Boston game at home where mm-hmm. J Dub hits the it's the jumper off of <clears throat> excuse me hits the jumper off of a screen from Shea to put the Celtics away. Like that was a huge one. There's a lot. Hey guys, <laughs> I want to talk to you about the next Twitter question. It comes from at hey Rumble guys. Canoe. Hey guys, let's do Twitter questions. Hey guys, says, from at Rumble <laughs> Canoe Race. Who wants to know what are your thoughts on the Mavs Clips series? I feel like we have a reasonable chance matching up with either. Should we meet them in the second round? Yeah, I I. I think Kawhi is going to play in the series. And because of that, I think the Clippers have a really good chance to win. Yeah. Because you have Kawhi and PG. PG has been really good lately. Russell Westbrook has been really, really good for them too. I think if they play the Clippers, I think they have a better shot to beat them. I think the Thunder match up with the Clippers really well. They really, the Clippers themselves have struggled with like young, energetic, athletic teams. Right. And, I think yeah. the Thunder match up well in that way. Also, I think there's just a better chance of Kawhi like wearing down to nothing once once you get to the second round. So I mean the Cl- the Clippers are Luca's sons. Luca yeah. has just destroyed them emotionally the last times they've met in the playoffs. <laughs> I like that. Do you think he's gonna do it again? I think Luca has two of the exact same game winning threes against the Clippers from the same spot. Andrew's looking it up to prove me wrong. Don't look it up. Just let it move on. Next Twitter question. <laughs> I'm, I'm like, wait, wait a minute. <laughs> I'm... They beat him in the bubble. And then I think they, and then there's some regular season games too. I'm not sure if they, I mean, they, again they did the not be, I mean, they lost to them in 21. Did they really? And they lost no, to them. And no. they, they also lost to them in the bubble. Yes, they did. The Mavs did? Yes. They lost to them twice. I wish you didn't look this up. That's why I'm like, wait a minute. That is not accurate that they that they are Luke's <sighs> son. Not at all. Move not on. A, not Luke, at all true. They beat him. Next Twitter question. So what happened? Luke. What happened was is that they got ahead in that series. And then we thought it was over. Remember that? No, obviously I don't. That was the bubble series. Is that we thought like the Mavs? Oh my gosh, the Mavs are going to beat the Clippers, and then the Clippers bounce back and beat beat the Mavericks in that series. Taylor, how does it feel to be wrong? Just as wrong as you can. Hey guys, here's a Twitter question. Yeah, this would be their third time to match up in the last like four years. Okay, Clippers have beat them. Mary F killed Casper's uncles. Hey guys, how about our next Twitter question? Skinny one. It comes from at Ethan Nickel Four, who wants to know over under seven playoff runs in the future with the core Shea Jub Chet. <laughs> over under what? Seven playoff runs. That's a lot. That's a lot. I will say over. <laughs> oh, over. even though you said that's a lot. Even though I said it. Dang. All right. We only got seven with. With the Katie Russ runs, 
We got ten all the way through. Actually, no six because we missed the playoffs. Yeah, game. six. So only six. Okay. So that would be a big deal if they go over seven. There's not a lot of teams that get. Who's the most recent team? Golden State is the most recent team to have more than that with their core. I think that's about it. Okay. Hey guys, our next Twitter question comes from at Jared KW13. Who says Chet has been fantastic coming off breaks all season? What's his stat line in game one? Uh 18, 12, and 3. Wow. 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 Hey guys, our next Twitter question comes from at Eros19 underscore eight seven. Wants to know how many beers should I drink in order for the Thunder to win each game? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> important question. Um, and we have an important a- answer here. How many beers should you one beer per ten points the Thunder score? Wow. <laughs> What? <laughs> oh, it should be five. That's, that, no, that's a lot, it could be a lot of beers. But I think that's what you should go for. A couple? I don't know. All right, we gotta we gotta move on. Yeah, so one go. beer. Just drink one. Just drink one. Two and beers. don't drive. Two How beers, about that? Two beers is the perfect amount of beers. Yeah. If you're at home. Yeah. Um. Okay. Let me see. Um, our next Twitter question comes from at Cowboy Germ, who wants to know, was Shannon Sharp trying to be on the doubter reel when we eventually make the Western Conference Finals? Uh, Weakest Shan- one seed ever? He's just trying to make waves. He did exactly what he wanted his yeah, people talking. Em- employer to do, is got people talking. It's- Everybody's talking about it. People don't know that they're falling into his trap. Like, come on, everybody. It's first take. We wake, know what first take is now. Wake up. Stop repeating his name and what he said because all you're doing is doing exactly what he wants you to do. If you want to make him mad, just ignore the take altogether because it's a dumb one. So just let it go. Let, mm-hmm. let people fire off their dumb takes and you don't have to comment about it. I, I mean, mean, it's, a, you, good, it's a good take. You, when you quote, retweet it, whenever you do all these things, all you're doing is perpetuating the take. The way for a take to die is to not acknowledge it. Yeah. Like we have to, we have to start not acknowledging dumb takes. Okay. Okay. Can't do it though. People can't do it. People won't do it. <laughs> it's insane. Can't do it. The it's take, insane. The take was too strong. It was a good take. The force of it. I mean, as far as in. like how his job goes in the you know the profession of of the take. Yeah, it was a good team. He's a master. Yeah, he's a master. Hey, guys, our next Twitter question comes from at Rika Hathaway, who says, most games fall around 1 or 2 p.m. in New Zealand. What are your best get-out-of-work excuses so us Kiwis down here can watch Thunder basketball live? Diarrhea, 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 diarrhea. diarrhea. Just run out of work shouting, diarrhea, diarrhea, diarrhea. Diarrhea. No one asks you about it. It's just, it's diarrhea. Andrew, you don't have to answer questions about it. I have diarrhea. Yeah. I have to go home. Yeah, that's fine. Do you have a better excuse? Mm-mm. Okay. It's diarrhea. Unanimous. <laughs> <laughs> Unanimous diarrhea. Uh, okay. Okay. Here's a, another question from at. Cowboy Germ, who wants to know going to the game Sunday, what do I do if the shirt in the seat doesn't fit? Just wear the shirt. <laughs> They're all going to be XLs. <laughs> Don't ask someone if they have different sizes. They're all XLs. Just wear it. Just wear the shirt. Here's what I here's here's what I say. Bring bring a light jacket. Wear over it. Okay. Wear the shirt. Just wear the shirt. Come on. This he is gives not, some context. This is he not gives not. some context. He says he usually wears a 3X. Okay. I think you might be able to ask for a bigger one. Oh, really? And if they don't have it, sue them. <laughs> yes. Just, yes. 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 Just drape it over yourself. Br- uh, bring some safety pins and just safety pin it to your to your existing shirt. Oh, yeah. There we go. That's a really, light, that's a really good idea. Say, yeah. Put it on. Light jacket. Okay, next Twitter question from huh. 
Um, it comes from at Oakla Bold, who has any updates on league expansion, a timeline, how will impact Thunder Oscar? No, no updates on Twitter expansion. Twitter expansion. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right, here's a question. It comes from at might underscore B underscore KD. Who would you say are the Thunder's biggest rival? And are there any budding rivalries that you see in the works? If they play the Mavs in round two, that'll be that's a budding rivalry for sure. It is. Um, um our biggest rival the regular season though is Houston. Yeah, I say like Houston, Golden State, and Memphis. Houston, Golden State, Memphis, and San Antonio are probably like the biggest rivals for the Thunder. I think I think San Antonio is budding. Yeah, it's, San, San Antonio, Antonio is budding. Budding. budding it's rivalry. being it's going to be forced on us no matter what. I don't have the emotions behind anyone else like I do with with Houston. Yeah, I mean the Houston one, especially between fan bases. That's what it is. Is the is the big one? I don't. There's obviously not one on the court that exists, but between fan bases, that definitely exists. I think that we're about to find out who her biggest rival is here in here in a few weeks because this is when they're born. That's yeah, right. rivalries this is are rivalries birth. are born, birth yeah. in a playoff birth. It's true. <clears throat> yep. all, all right, all right, all right. Next Twitter question comes from at Fake Jeff Bell, who wants to know how do the Kings guard SGA? Do you foresee lots of doubles? I mean, yeah, they're going to try to get the ball out of his hands as much as they can, but it's going to be a lot of Keon Ellis. It's going yeah. to be a lot of Davion Mitchell. Yeah. So, and they both guarded him really well the other night, and he still got forty. So, hey guys, um, our next Twitter question comes from at Slitty Slat Six Nine. <laughs> careful, want, careful who wants one. to know hey. who is one player from a 2018. 2022 Thunder team you wish could be on this playoff team. What? On which on which team? 2018 through 2022. 20. Thunder team. You wish could be on this playoff team. A recent Thunderman who's no longer Thunder. I mean Paul jo Paul George? Oh, that seems like yeah. cheating. <laughs> well, that's the answer. Okay, cheaters. 2018 2018 um through 2020 are you looking up the roster yeah thank you yeah i mean from 2018 i mean stephen adams would be great mm -hmm. um there's i mean there's i mean could, could we get 2018 russell westbrook i don't think we'd actually want that on this roster no um the 1920 team i think there's a lot of candidates uh, we still have Mike Muscala. If you could get the 2019-20 version of Danilo Gallinari coming mm -hmm. off the bench, that would be pretty right. sweet. Be pretty the sweet. 2020 um, Chris Paul, 1920 Chris Paul. Chris Paul coming off the bench would be yeah. great. Um, yeah, I mean, those guys would be great. All right. Our next Twitter question comes from at Jess2437. Who says Josh played well in the play in last year? He also plays well for Australia under pressure. Are we underestimating what Josh could do in the playoffs? Yeah, probably so. Perhaps. Yeah, I think so. I think he's not, I mean, he's not scared of the moment. That's for sure. And so I think, mm. yeah, we'll, I think we'll see some stuff from Josh during this playoff run. He was very happy yesterday at media availability. That's great. He happy. seems to be, have have a happier state. Yeah, he's like, definitely very. If you could tell, like he's like feeling really good. So, you think it's drugs or just he's healthier right now? Probably just healthier. Oh, that's good. <laughs> hey guys. Hey. <laughs> Unbelievable. Hey guys. I've got zero a, flow to I've this. I've got a podcast. good one, but um, <laughs> I'm not going to read it, but I'll show it to Taylor. But I, my question is Are you miffed and are you peeved? <laughs> miffed, 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 miffed and peeved. That's, I did see that one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a definitely a question. Are you miffed? Hey, guys, I am not miffed and peeved. I was miffed and peeved, but it turned into a G and bead. Hmm. I was miffed and peeved because I got my parents are moving and I have they gave me a whole bunch of junk they had in their attic that was mine that mm -hmm. I had to sell. Mm -hmm. So you know what I did? Sold it. 
I threw it up on eBay. And oh. it is currently on eBay. And you know what is selling like hot <clears throat> cakes? Po- Pokemon cards. No. Didn't have any. Really? I traded. I don't want to get into no, it. We don't have to get into because it. Because in the sixth grade, I sold a holographic Charizard, like a holographic Blastoise to Chance Connerly for $20. Yeah, that's bad. That's dumb. Really bad. That was dumb. Dumb. It's one of the I've dumb. never recovered. That's one of the dumbest things. Dude, I've 20 ever bucks in sixth grade, though ranch no it wasn't even that much i was i don't know why i did it that was really bad okay but i threw up some in selling like hot cakes my ninja turtles wow the For, action figures yes ninja turtle action figures i put up a lot of 45 and a whole bunch of accessories they are currently the the bid top bid over seven hundred dollars are you serious serious you're selling all of them in like one bundle oh, all in one bundle all in one and i think it ends tomorrow i think it's gonna end at over a thousand dollars wow oh my god are you gonna regret this one too no because i was about to throw them in the garage sale for a dollar each seriously yes wow holy guacamole yeah wow. that's awesome man uh-huh that's pretty good. Wow, that's my great. Sec- I also have for up for sale a lot. Remember Street Sharks? Yeah, hundred fifty. I have six of them. Hundred and fifty bucks. Wow, what Street in the Sharks. world? People Pe- people love, like these like old collectibles. People loves old like eighties toys, man. Yeah, people I'm do. telling you, it's true. That's I'm awesome. about to put up some more today. I might put up my lot of Cowboys of Moo Mesa. <laughs> Cowboys of Mumaisa. You guys remember Cowboys of Mumaisa? No, no, no idea what that no. is. Do you guys remember Dan Bill? Dan Bill? You yeah. Dan Bill guy? Wait, Dan Bill? Is that from New Girl? It's from New Girl. Do you remember that? <laughs> oh. uh, I'm super duper miffed. Uh oh, I've got poison ivy. Oh, oh awful. awful. Where yeah. was it? Where? Where did you find? Like, where did you get into I'm, the well, I'm working on my flower beds, man. Just been working on my flower beds Dang. all week. Oh it's no! Been terrible. Let me see. Let me see your wound. Oh! Oh! oh. Yeah. oh. I know. It's, oh! Yeah. I know it's awful. That itches. I also messed up my finger this week. This finger. This oh, is, wait a second. That's as straight as I can what get happened? it. What happened? It wasn't like that before. What happened? It's as straight as I can get it. Get it away from me. I know. What happened? I'm mangled. How? How? What? I've been mangled. I think it's. I'm just working on my flower beds. I think I got. It's called trigger finger, where it's like something to do with the ligaments in my hand. That's as straight as I can get it. Oh, get does it, it hurt? Uh, it only hurts when you bend it a certain way. Can you? Uh, can you type still? It's. It is. I've had to like relearn how to type like oh, this. No, because you got to. It's been. I've. I've. It's been not a great week I hope it, get, I hope it gets better is thank it you supposed to have you seen what a doctor have you seen a doctor you? i haven't seen a doctor yet go see a doctor man quit no. using your hands for things go to the doctor it's it's been a brutal week are you miffed and biffed your flower beds um i assume look good i haven't looked at them but i'm they're they're they've got the moss what's it called that you put on top mulch. of it mulch you got you mulched yeah. up now yeah. you're about ready to put some flowers in those yeah they're mulched you getting flowers this weekend you're taking a break <sighs> I'm trying to take a break. <laughs> okay. Yeah. It's about to get hot. I'm not miffed. Are you pissed? Uh, are you Jeed? I'm Jeed. You bead? I'm Jeed and bead. Are you been making a lot of t-shirts? Oh, uh, we've been making t-shirts. You guys should be getting them in the mail yesterday, today. And if tomorrow. someone really saw them, it's like, I really want one. I really yeah. want them. Are there places they could go to find them? I think you could go to a place called Blue 7 or a place called Dig It. And also... Maybe, maybe there might be more online. Yeah, I was gonna say on Sunday. Just wait. Just wait for. Just wait. 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 A, if you wait a couple of days, there's gonna be another drop. Ah, huh. patience a virtue. Is that that's what you're saying? Yeah. Huh. It's huh. virtuous. Huh. Huh. And that's that's how you should buy them. Okay. Huh. Huh. Uh, huh. All right. Huh. Thank you so much for listening. We will have another pod for you tonight because we need to actually break down who they're playing. And and we'll how, know then how it's gonna go. We'll make predictions. What if we still don't know? It's still, what if they're like, we got a pod, they're in the eighth overtime. It's two in the morning. What we'll if? wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll wait, we'll preview the, we'll preview the series. So God, what if? tune in later tonight on YouTube. If you're not subscribed on YouTube, 
Like please and subscribe. subscribe. Please subscribe. If you're, we have a bunch of people in the chat right now. If you will just please just do this one thing. I What's up, YouTube? It. Like and subscribe. Just like the video. Just like it right now. That's subscribe to. That's all you got to do. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. We'll talk to you guys again tonight.